Lasers are amazing. But did you know we could use them to talk to satellites and provide internet for the world from space? Let's learn more in this episode of How to Build a Spaceship. Space-based optical communication systems use lasers to transmit information. Both light and radio waves are part of the family of electromagnetic waves, which can travel through the vacuum of space and transmit information over vast distances. However, since laser light is a much shorter wavelength than radio waves traditionally used for communication, lasers can transmit more information per second than radio waves. This allows for data transmission rates of hundreds of gigabits per second compared to the tens of megabits per second you might have on your home internet plan. Optical transmitters can emit a much narrower beam than radio transmitters. This means that more of the transmitted power is intercepted by the receiver and less power is wasted. This also makes laser signals harder to intercept than old school radio signals since they diffuse over a much smaller area. However, this also poses a tricky engineering feat. Communication between satellites or between the ground and space requires very precise alignment between the terminals in order to receive the transmission. This is a challenge because the link distance could be hundreds or thousands of kilometers or more with each piece trying to talk or receive moving in different speeds and directions. When we see that lasers don't disperse as much as a radio signal, can you tell me about the differences? Right, so a radio beam uh, coming down from space to Earth might cover an area as large as, say, a city. But uh, a laser beam doing an equivalent communication uh, would only cover an area as large as a house. What are the challenges with communications between satellites that are moving in space using this optical communications method? So the main challenge here is trying to point the laser accurately. So you have that nice narrow laser beam, which is great, it's very efficient. But what that means is you really need to be hitting a pinpoint target uh, on the other satellite. It's about equivalent to trying to hit a three-pointer from about 100 miles away. How accurately do these satellites need to be pointed to be able to use optical communications? So the satellite itself doesn't actually have to point that accurately. Uh, the laser beam needs to be accurate to about a thousandth of a degree, but we use a large turret on the top of the satellite to kind of get ourselves in the neighborhood of about a tenth of a degree of pointing accurately. And then we use a fast steering mirror uh, at the bottom of the terminal, and this takes us the rest of the way. Is there any concern about blinding pilots or frying birds as these lasers are moving through the sky? No, so um, we're transmitting lasers in the infrared and uh, humans or birds can't see uh, in the infrared. So there's no danger to either pilots or wildlife. I'm Hugh Podmore, I'm a photon wrangler, and I'm a proud space nerd. Yeah! Optical communication systems can also provide perfectly secure communication backed by quantum physics. As the Ottawa team works toward building the internet in the sky, they're also hard at work designing the quantum key distribution terminals of the future. And that's how we use lasers to transmit information to and from space. Is there anything lasers can't do? 